Well, it's funny you ask that because like I, like we know these mentalities carry over to everything. Mm. And it's not like, you know how we debate um, even just on a really subtle level about this, like we, how you act in the gym is not how you act everywhere else. I would argue adopting these mentalities is one of the reasons why you act like you do outside of the gym and inside of the gym. Yeah. So it's not really like the the working out that's that is the like how you behave in the gym is it's like you have these mentalities yeah. and that is in the gym's a reflection of those mentalities yeah. and everywhere else in your life if you possess these mentalities is a reflection of that too. I feel like it should, we also we almost should change it from your intent in the gym. Yeah. From from your from action to intent. Yeah. Cuz it's like if the intent is to chase clout or front or whatever, that's why you train. Yeah. Or if you train to get laid or whatever, like that doesn't it's not going <laughs> to carry over into like being successful in the rest of oh, your well, life. You might, you know, go to work <coughs> to make money. <laughs> train to get laid. Yeah, yeah. action outcome. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, when it comes from an intention standpoint, it's very different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So three mentalities that we live and die by. Um, and we call them mentality because it's way cooler than mindset. Just throwing it out there. Just want to kind of- I'm surprised how little pushback we got. We want to distance video. ourselves from that pack. Yeah. You know, I just don't subscribe to some of the shit that people mm. throw out from that perspective in that space. And I think mentality for us just sits with- who we are, yeah. what we talk about, what we live by. So, definitely, have yeah. a, definitely has a stronger connotation to it. Yeah. Yeah, and I feel comfortable talking about it. When yeah. you say mindset, I kind of shiver a bit. <laughs> <laughs> so the first one's growth mentality. Yeah. Uh, and then we have ownership mentality. And then we have the be, do, have mentality. Mm. So starting with growth, Ben, how would you describe that to somebody who's like, what the fuck does that mean? Someone who believes that their current position isn't their final position. Yeah. They're not fixed. Yeah. So and ev- everything in life is changeable. Mm-hmm. Skill set, personality, outcomes, yeah. all of those things in particular. Yeah. You, where you are right now doesn't define where you'll be tomorrow infinitely. Yeah. Yeah. And what would be an example of someone who doesn't possess a growth mindset in their own journey towards their fitness goals. I'll never be that jacked. I'll never be that lean. I'll never be as strong as them. Yeah. Yeah. Those yeah. types yeah, of never things. Never going to be able to lift that much. Yeah. Never going to be able to master this deadlift. Like, yeah. 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 Or I'm just like, I'm the fat kid or yeah. whatever. Just like anything, a really big warning, like a uh, red flag for it is like the identity thing. I yeah. am. Yeah. Like, or yeah. I have. I have. Yeah. Like, stop that (laughs) like you and I have talked about it before even like again keeping it not necessarily keeping in training like we've talked about that we both get anxiety yeah but we avoid saying we have anxiety yeah of course like I don't want to give it that much power over me correct get it but I don't have it because it's not going to stay here and it doesn't stay here for permanently correct so that's just like a little bit of a I'm winning this battle kind of thing yeah but if I see that language it's like I am weak yeah like like well you're not mm. you just haven't trained enough like yeah. you can be stronger um, yep. yeah I think those types of attitudes are what will separate potential and stay in the same yeah I agree yeah. and if, I guess if, even if you just draw like a line through like the medium of the people that you work with the ones that get really good results the ones that get okay results and the ones that don't it's mm. like the mentality is a big component of it and okay. it's like that belief um, you know, in a lot of cases for those people that don't really kind of achieve it, it's like they just don't really have that like vision that w- their current situation is flexible. Their current situation yeah. is malleable. It will change. They will get better. They will yeah. you know, um if they try and, and persist and on a, on a plan that is actually set towards growth. So mm. I think that's another caveat. Like, you know, it's, it's all good and well to have a growth mindset and believe in yourself, but you need to make sure you're not just like, you know, I've tried everything and you've just done the same thing every yeah. time. It's like you yeah. need to go and like reflect and be like, every time I go to the gym to try and get in shape, I bomb my calories and I train yeah. five, five to six days a week and I, all I do is cardio and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, it's not working. Yeah. The growth mindset doesn't make you go back and do that same thing. Yeah. It makes you sit back and go. Be reflective. What is happening yeah. here? Why am I not really moving where I need to go? 
and what do I need to do to change it? And it's probably in a lot of situations for that specific example, I need to change the approach. Yeah. The intention and everything's there. I can show up, I can work hard, whatever. It's just how I'm doing that is different. Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent agree. Yeah. Yeah. Um, obviously, shout out to the Carol Dweck book. Great mindset, book. Mindset, which unpacks this really, really yeah. well. Yeah. First 150 pages are a must. Yeah. And then just pick your industry that Last you want to kind of, I guess, unpack some of the mindset stuff in there. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. Really, super really good. valuable. And like you said, I think we're in a position now where we attract, predominantly we attract people that at least have the growth mindset there. Yes. And I think when people, a lot of trainers talk about like attracting better clients. We talk about this a lot. Like yep. as a client going to look for a trainer, it doesn't matter. People come to me and say, oh, but I don't want to compete. Yeah. Because they say I train competitors. I'm like, yeah, well, like 25% of my book. Yeah, same. <laughs> like it's not the only yeah. thing I do. Yeah. But if you come, what makes a competitor great is being willing to suck. And another another less eloquent way of when you said like what is growth mindset it's like being yeah. willing to be shit at something yeah being willing to struggle yeah at some point if you're willing to suck at something for an extended period of time knowing you'll get better at it then yeah. you have it yeah and then it doesn't matter where you are for lack of a better word on your journey you can go from there forwards and if you have that mindset you'll be successful no matter what you do yeah and I guess like when you look at people who get results in the gym no matter what their endeavor is usually that those characteristics carry over to other elements of of yeah. life because when you walk into the gym you don't have what you want yeah and it's hard yeah and to actually get what you want you have to take yourself through like the most uncomfortable and challenging situations and each week's not you know a, a linear increase in progression and and whatever it's, and it's because of all three of the mentalities that we're going to talk about um are are the expression of that and that's why those people usually get good results in the gym usually yeah kind of do well outside of it yeah i agree yeah so we're going to move on to ownership now i like this ownership one because i because i can call myself out of my shit because i feel like if yeah. out of all of the mindsets it's like you can kind of fall into this trap a lot yeah you know it like no matter how big or small like there's people on like one end of the spectrum that are just like bro you need to mm -hmm. have a fucking hard look at yourself like overall and then every now and then i'm like hey bro like it's still your responsibility. Like, show the fuck up, you know? So, what, how would you describe uh, the ownership mentality to people? Yeah, so we lean into that extreme ownership, which is, we'll go with a life one. Yeah. So, the most powerful thing anyone's ever said to me, I think, in my entire life was everything in your life right now is your fault. Yeah. Was that when you did the personal development workshop for the sales thing? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that changed the trajectory of my life, to be honest. I was like, oh, yeah. yep. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm the piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> because you had a growth mindset, it didn't make you feel that's bad. That's right. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay being shit. Yeah, um, yeah. So, yeah, that's it. And it's like finding the way we term it is whether it's your fault or not, it's still your responsibility. Yeah. 